Right everyone, we have lecture here. I thought I'd try and clear up some of the misconceptions and false facts that are going around about the UK offensive weapons ban and the home delivery ban on online knife sales and also the so-called knife ban. Because I did a video recently that got quite popular uh, and I found a lot of people commenting on it are either not watching the video or just don't really have a clue what's going on. So, first thing I would say straight away, there's no knife ban in the UK. We're not going to have to start eating our dinners with spoons, stuff like that. Uh, we can still own knives. Uh, at the minute, you can technically legally carry a folding knife that doesn't lock and has a blade under three inches and that'll stay the same as well there's no there's no laws proposed to change that uh, i don't know where that idea comes from that the uk are banning knives no one in the uk has ever said that apart from possibly sadiq khan i think has said he's banning knives from london whatever that means you know i'm assuming what he means by that is if you're caught with a knife you'll be arrested uh probably even a legal carry one so because he's got no right to ban knives in london and it's impossible so so yeah i have no idea where that comes from but there is there has not been a uk knife ban you still own knives you can still buy knives you know um the other thing was uh, the proposed laws are going to be, they're going to try and ban people buying knives online, I think. The, the, it's worded as a home delivery ban on online knife sales. So that doesn't stop people, you know, collectors or bushcrafters going to a shop and buying knives still, you know. So there's just that, you know. And it's about something to do with being delivered to private addresses something like that you know again these laws haven't been passed yet so we don't know the whole specifics of it but that is it it's just you know they're not banning you buying knives they're not banning you owning knives or anything like that the other thing is uh the banning the offensive weapons thing they're not banning all weapons there's loads and loads of collectible weapons you can still own and buy you know what I mean at the minute, they're proposing to ban 19 items. These items here, which I'll list below. These 19 items have been classed as offensive weapons. Some of them have been on this list since 1950s. Some of them from the 1980s. And some of them from the mid-90s. And I think the mentality of this is that the fact that these items have been illegal to buy sell import export or manufacture means that i suppose technically no one in the uk should have new versions of these items unless they've been illegally importing them so by banning them completely to own i suppose the government thinks that there wouldn't be any new ones anyway you know unless they was illegal so you know and that's the other reason why there would never be a buyback for this they're not going to buy back things that were illegally imported in the first place, you know. So, yeah, there's that. Um, one thing I would say about that. Uh, it will be illegal to own them. But I would assume most people who would never, ever have the police come around their house would never have any problem if they still owned these things. You know what I mean? You're only going to have a problem if... The police are likely to come around your house and i think that's the other point of it is what they want to be able to do is when they go around these so-called gangsters houses criminals houses you know um they want to be able to confiscate these items because at the minute they legally can't because you're legally allowed to own them so there may not be you know lots of people getting arrested over these things unless you're a criminal anyway you know so yeah you know there's that what can we do about these things? Well, you may be able to write to your politician or your local MP. You could try that. You could try 
like what Scott from Wessex Blades has done, which is he's spoken to um, radio stations. I'll link to his video below, and anyone else I mention. Um, you can do videos like me and Scott from Wessex Blades and JJR Survival, who's my um, twin brother. Um, yeah, do some videos about it. I've even done a parody video on it if you wanted to see that. It's quite funny. Uh, if you like things like the day to day and brass, you'll like it. Um, yeah. All of those things will be linked below and on cards. Yeah. Um, if you do write a letter, be accurate, be articulate, and be respectful. You know, try and know what you're talking about. Don't, um, you know, be aggressive or anything stupid like that. You know. And I wanted to uh, get some facts out there because of all this misinformation and all these people seem to think on my video that every single weapon is being banned that is not the case at all it's just the 19 on that list will be illegal to own most people who probably will never have problems with the police could probably still possess those things illegally though but you'd probably never have any trouble with it um, there is no knife ban, we can still eat our dinners with knives, you know, there's, you know, there's no, you know, you can still own knives, you can still buy knives, they just want to try and stop you getting a home delivery of online knives, you know, buying online knives from online knife sales, that's it, you know, you can still go to a shop and buy them. You know, and I suppose that's why this isn't going to stop any crime, really, is it? You know, they want to stop you better buying knives online or having them delivered to your private address. You know, how's that going to stop knife crime? It's not at all, is it? So, sadly, another load of rubbish that is just punishing normal people. So, yeah, I hope that's cleared up a few things. I hope you've watched all this video and you're not going to comment writing stupid things about, oh, I feel sorry for you Brits having no weapons, you're being disarmed. We're not being disarmed at all. We can still own shotguns on a license. We can still own firearms on a license. You know, and crossbows and, you know, no end of things. Antique swords. It's all totally legal to own still. You know what I mean? And will be when these laws change. So, right. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to, get to check out the channels I mentioned. All the links will be below. Write letters if you feel you need to, you know, and you feel you know how to write it. Uh, I may be able to put like a copy and paste letter you could send. There may be petitions you could sign, you know, there may be meetings you can go to if you want to stop these things from happening. Right. One good thing I think, it's not, not, it's not good, but this may be delayed again now because of um, the Windrush scandal. Because uh, it's the same person who's did that wants to do these law changes, so they'll probably be dealing with that for a while now, you know. So, yeah, all right, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it helpful. Uh, yeah, that's it, all right. See you later. All right, before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.